smart to our product for our tech tape? The Our answer to sub-cycle reactive compensation. The smart bar is intended to provide reactive compensation to a system and to do this in less than one cycle. So a very rapid switching of capacity to the the system. So it can compensate for a dynamic change in reactive loads such as motors in a facility and it will either add uh, reactive bars to a power system for compensation or remove those bars when they are not needed. So it supplies the leading bars very rapidly when they are needed to compensate for the load The smart bar uses a, a rapid switching technique that will either insert the capacitance into a system in less than one cycle, or it will also remove the system, the capacitor from the system when it is not required. It does this using thyristor switches, uh, so we have an electronic means of adding the capacitance very quickly, and the Thyristor switch will not only switch very rapidly, but it will switch at a zero crossing point in the waveform so that you can avoid any uh, transient from the capacitor, which is associated with the normal switching technique. So using this thyristor switch, we are able to rapidly switch the capacitor to the system and to do this without a transient. So it's transient free switching and accomplishes all of this in less than one cycle. This is an example of if we, if we feed a signal at, at this point uh, in the waveform, this the blue line represents the firing signal to the thyristor. When this occurs, the capacitor will be switched at the next point where the waveform touch voltage waveform touches zero. So the next zero cross point uh, will cause the capacitor to be switched off to the system. So if the switch is made here, well then it's less than eight, eight milliseconds for a transfer. The switch is, is the firing signal that's provided back here. Then we have uh, approximately, uh, approximately about eight milliseconds for that switch to occur because it will occur at this real clock. And then 120 degrees later, the other phase switches in and we have full conduction on all three phases. So the maximum time to accomplish the complete switch of all three phases is from one half to two thirds of a cycle.